Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vago Maradian. Last week, we covered the Naval Submarine League's annual symposium and trade show in Northern Virginia. Normally, we're talking to very big companies, but this time we caught up with a small, innovative company called Propel that uses innovative textile designs to build suits to protect sailors when they're working on high-pressure, hot steam equipment. Joining us were Claire King, who is the president of Propel, and Bethany Pollock, who is the company's vice president for business innovation. They talked to us about their new steam suit. So we're focused on delivering textile technologies to the warfighter and the firefighter. By that we mean we're focused on improving the comfort, the safety, uh, all of the elements that go into clothing systems and textile technologies that could be used by the warfighter and firefighter. Our focus is on helping protect those who protect us. Today at the Navy Submarine League Exposition, we're showing a new steam suit for damage control inside submarines. And this steam suit evolved from a small business innovation research grant that we were awarded by the Navy to develop technologies that remove stitching so that we can make the garments lighter and more flexible. Well, the design considerations, first of all, the, the Navy had a, a number of requirements. This suit has to operate in high, high heat and full steam. So by high heat, we've got to be able to keep the user comfortable for at least 30 minutes in temperatures that could exceed 175 Fahrenheit. And so that is definitely a design challenge because we also can't get any of that steam inside the suit. The suit is now out on testing on Navy submarines and uh, we've had good feedback from the lab testing and other human factors testing. So now we're waiting for the real testing, which is the user field evaluation. And uh, I expect they'll have some ideas on maybe minor changes they want, but we are also um, very, our expectation is that they will see the suit as an improvement to what they're currently wearing and that it'll move forward to acquisition. The Small Business Innovation Research Grant Program is a fantastic opportunity for small businesses to bring forward their technology ideas to solve problems for the Department of Defense. And um, there, the branches of the uh, Department of Defense all put out topics uh, and this one was originally about can we assemble clothing without needle and thread to make it lighter, more flexible, all of those kinds of things. Um, so we had a lot of ideas and we were able to write a winning proposal and we received funding to do this work. So this is the kind of funding that you cannot get from any other source. And the quid pro quo is we solve a problem for them and we get to end up owning all of the intellectual property and then we can apply it to other products for the Department of Defense or we can apply it to the commercial market. Some of the other products that Propel has developed in the past. We offer a product called the Quiet Loop, which is a printed um, loop material used on the uniforms for close, opening and closing your cuffs, things like that. It's 50% quieter than the incumbent product that was used. It's also camouflage printed with NIR characteristics. We did the ghillie suit yarn development for the sniper's suit with a flame resistant product for that item. And um, we're additionally working on a second SBIR project that's in phase two now for the Navy on advanced wireless textiles, or phase two is the smart integrated uniform. So integrating electronics into the uniform, and that one's very exciting as well. Bethany just talked about the smart integrated uniform, and this is the opportunity where textiles and technology will come together. And we see this as transformative to uh, how we think about clothing, but beyond clothing, having textiles that can carry data and power and transmit data and power to and from could be used in composites, it could be used to cover um, uh, high value assets and monitor what's going on with them. So it's an example of where technology is really going to transform the lives of everyone around us. So we're very excited about the funding that we've received to do for that. And currently we're focusing on physiology and measuring physiology, but the fundamental technology we're developing could be applied to many other things as well. The defense market is certainly a less obvious application of your textiles degree. It's certainly not where I expected to end up. I thought I'd be in Milan somewhere doing um, fashion, but it's a great area with a lot of interest in the technology and the technical aspects of fabric. So there's a lot of different avenues that you can pursue. You don't necessarily have to be just a straight textiles person. There's computing and coding that goes along with it now and um, the different machines that are out there. So take advantage of those internships or opportunities in a company that you might not have thought you really wanted to work in. You may be exposed to a new area that you thought nothing about and it could be an area you love.
as an example, we had a uh, terrific uh, intern this summer from Drexel, who is actually in the fashion design program. Uh, but she sought us out because we're working in the intersection of technology and textiles and technical textiles. And I think it's just made her uh, whole world open up to the possibility of having a job where not only are you thinking outside the box and creating and designing, but you're also making a difference in people's lives every day. Creativity is an odd thing. The ideas often emerge from having seen and talked to people, observing things at shows, uh, reading, um, and then just in the middle of the night or you're out on a walk, there'll be some kind of inspiration that happens. And it's no different in the world that we're in for anybody else's creativity. But we do uh, participate in uh, uh, organizations that feed into that, the International Fabric Association, no, what was it? Industrial Fabrics Association. Uh, we'll go to a, a trade show called Tech Textile in Germany that is the biggest technical textile show in the world. It takes us four days just to walk through that. We'll go to CES with the Consumer Electronics Show in, in Las Vegas. We'll step outside and go to a completely different industry and see what's going on with them. There's a lot going on in automotive related to textiles that you can take ideas and you can think, well, how can I apply that to what's happening to the combat field or to inside a submarine. Uh, and some of it is just pure inspiration as well. The other thing is that creativity is built off the base of collaboration. So we do a, a huge amount of collaborating with other companies, both within our field and beyond our field. And we'll co collaborate with a yarn company. We've done tremendous collaborations with Patagonia. We've got a military contractor, Peckham, that we collaborate with. So we feed off their ideas too. We're always interested in talking to people who've got technology that might be relevant to us or they've got a problem they're trying to solve. Um, we're on LinkedIn, we have a Twitter account, we have a great website. You can just give us a call, send us an email, and uh, we will talk. And uh, I can't tell you how many NDAs we have, probably close to 300. Um, and uh, we are always looking for collaborative ideas. Obviously, we're here exhibiting this team suit at the Navy Submarine League. We'd like to see that go to acquisition and continue the collaborative relationship we have with the Navy on producing that item, meeting an unmet need, or improving on an existing item there. Um, the smart integrated uniform, we want to succeed at creating some of the technology that goes into that and also branching off and using some of the component parts that we develop there for other areas in the commercial market. and. Um, finding the next best thing out there that, you know, a new collaboration or another project that's coming up in the short term where we can get involved in something else interesting.